Welcome back to Buzz TV. I'm Steve Strum. Today on Buzz Art, we have Aaron Shelton with us. Good morning. 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 It's nice so, to be here. Absolutely. So, okay. So, Aaron's art is currently located directly behind me. Right here. Yeah. Which we're going to talk about. But tell us a little bit about your company. Well, so I am a uh, two-dimensional artist. I do uh, acrylic paintings, um, usually larger, and I, I base my, my art kind of around my style, which is uh, spontaneous re realism. And it's kind of like an abstract interpretation of realistic images. So I, I kind of take a, a, an unnatural approach to painting. And so that's kind of what this is. And it's done very quickly and sporadically and uh, with lots of energy and kind of I try to hone in on a, on a flow state whenever I, I paint. So that's kind of what this resulted in and most of my other pieces. So it's interesting that you say uh, high energy mm -hmm. and a flow state. Uh, yeah. So I am probably, in, in my professional life, I am the furthest thing away from art, as you can imagine. I'm a, I'm, I'm a numbers guy, right? Mm -hmm. So, that, you know, ones and zeros. I love counting. We're opposites. I know, right? It's so, uh, but it's interesting because the thing that you had mentioned was actually a comment that I was given this morning with one of my clients about energy and flow and always be in there so uh, in a high intensity type of situation but you use that and apply it to art correct yeah uh, so in my earlier years of, of painting and drawing I would always try and nitpick everything and like be very precise and very accurate and um, I realized that that wasn't very fun I started to hate art and then all of a sudden I had a professor that was like just put the paint down you can always paint over it so I was afraid to make mistakes you know and uh, so this style really lent itself well to me because I'm very um, impatient. And so I just throw paint around and just kind of mold it to how it needs to be or how it comes out. Granted, I'll make mistakes because of how the paint drips and, um, you know, however it's flung around. But, you know, that's nice little accents, I think. Well, and, and so each piece is an inspired piece. And so uh, we're actually going to talk about the piece behind me, and we'll probably cut away to that. Uh, tell us a little bit about this piece. Um, so this one was uh, done last February. Uh, I had a, an artist residency up in uh, North Carolina in a studio called Azul. And it's this really, really cool studio. It's a three-story cabin in the middle of the mountains in Hot Springs, North Carolina. And uh, I, I came there at a time when there was nobody else. And uh, so I had the whole entire cabin to myself. And I'm, I'm working, you know, 8 a.m. to 2 o'clock in the morning every day for two weeks. And I, I started going crazy. And, um, I know just, the feeling. Just from, like, lack of, uh, of interaction with people, you know. I'm from Jacksonville. There's people everywhere. I interact with hundreds of people a day. And then in North Carolina, I've got nobody. It's just crickets. What part of North Carolina? Uh, Hot Springs. It's um, up in the mountains. The first, the, it's actually the very first town that you come across during the Appalachian Trail. Okay, so it's out there. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty far out there, and uh, it's tucked into the mountains. And uh, so I was getting kind of uh, cabin fever-like, and I also had some personal drama go on at that time, so I was like very angry, frustrated, and I was like, what, what am I doing? Uh, and so instead of destroying things, you know, destroying property and whatnot, I uh, just honed it on that. That's a very interesting piece. It's uh, actually got, it, there's a lot of things that it captures, right? That captures the, the vividness of the art, the intensity of the art, but then the personal pain that you can actually kind of see through it, which in my limited uh, understanding of art, I do listen to other people and they kind of tell me some of that feedback. So, so you're from Jax. You're uh, trying to do a great job creating a business. Uh, a lot of times we ask about, you know, how do people help you in the community? If somebody wanted to get a hold of you, what's the best way to find you? Uh, well, most people nowadays contact me through my social media platforms, um, Aaron's Artwork uh, on Facebook and Aaron's underscore Artwork on Instagram. But uh, my website, I'll get you know hits off of that, which is AaronSheltonArtwork.com. And you can sign up for my little newsletters and whatnot that I try to send out, but I'm also kind of busy, so I, I'm not good at writing those kind of things. So. I understand that. Yeah, my grammar is horrible. <laughs> People don't love me because I can spell. They love me because I can count. Uh, but uh, all I ask for you is love me anyway. And so would love to have you, uh, you know, come to the office. Maybe I, I got some blank spots that we need to have a little love to because, uh, you know, numbers and you know, monitors, I can launch a space shuttle from my office. So, but thank you so much for joining us today yeah. on Buzz TV. Guys, thanks for joining us. If you like us, share us. And remember, live with gratitude.